Welcome back, everybody. Episode 8 of the Best Buds podcast. Special guest with us today, uh, Gabe, the owner of NBA Rumors and News on Instagram. Uh, Gabe, say what's up. What's up, guys? Nice to uh, be on here. Appreciate you guys having me. No problem. Yeah, so I'm going a, I'm to a hand it over to Zion. We got some questions to get, get into. <clears throat> All right, uh, so we talked a little bit with Gabe, but uh, Gabe, do you want to tell us, like, uh, or tell the people watching who you are, or like a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, so yeah, my name is Gabe Pickup. Um, I'm a junior in college right now at Ryder University. Um, so basically, I started getting into basketball when I was around like 11 or 12. Like, I was kind of a late bloomer with basketball, but um, just watching like the 12, 13 Knicks, the last good Knicks team, that was pretty exciting and kind of catapulted me into this field. Um, and yeah, my game, I mean, unfortunately, my love of the game started when my team started sucking, but like it was, <laughs> still cool, you know, hey, um, at least you stay true to them, though. Or... Yeah, I mean, I almost started, I, I was <laughs> more a bandwagon heat fan almost, but I, I stopped. Because <laughs> of LeBron? Stopped yourself. Yeah. Okay. How did the uh, Instagram page get started? Um, so I don't really like know why I started it, to be honest. I think I just had some free time when I was in like seventh or eighth grade and I just thought it'd be fun. It was really, that's young. Yeah. That's... I've been following him for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I, I have two. <laughs> well, I've had three accounts. My first two got hacked because I'm kind of, I kind of made some mistakes on those. But, um, yeah, the current one I've had for just over five years. Um, yeah. and yeah, it was originally called NBA Rumorville. I realized that was corny as heck eventually. <laughs> Got NBA rumors and news, like, that's a pretty solid name to have. Yeah, um, yeah no. Sounds kind of professional. Yeah, it does. Lie. Yeah, exactly. And it just – I don't really know how it, like, really took off. I mean, it was a lot easier to kind of get some, like, recognition in on Instagram before, like, the algorithms made it, like, really difficult, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was going to ask when and how did it gain traction. Do you think you – you know, like, what time you started to notice, so I was like, you started to gain a little bit more traction? Well, I did notice that every free agency is, that's when we really gain, like, a lot of followers. Throughout the season, we'll actually kind of lose followers. Like, we'll maybe lose, like, 100 or 200 followers throughout the year, and then free agency, we'll get, like, two or 3,000 followers. Mm. But I can't really pinpoint how it just blew up. I remember I used to, unfortunately, be one of those self-promoters, and I guess just people started <laughs> telling me about it. So it's just been like gradual over time. Yeah, um, the most we most followers we've ever gained in like a year was probably like fifteen or twenty k. Okay, okay, pretty good. And you're at like just over sixty k right now. Yeah, we actually just reached sixty k the other day. Word. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, uh, what kinda, is... it's growing season right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean the thing that's annoying is that the drafts and free agency were two days away from each other yeah <laughs> yeah I thought, yeah it was crazy they cut my, you short <laughs> yeah me and my partner have probably made 200 or 300 posts this week like holy, holy crap wow. that's insane <laughs> that's yeah. crazy that's i was crazy. gonna ask what is it like managing a news account <laughs> uh for the most part throughout the year it's pretty easy and it kind of runs itself we'll we'll post like maybe five or six things a week it's just this span where it's really hectic and Mm -hmm. basically me and my partner developed the system where when one of us hears news we'll text each other the news and then if the other person says like they got it they got it if they don't respond then like we post it it's like it's pretty hectic right now but overall it's really fun though um i've made it like a point to respond to a lot of dms because that's the one thing i really love about the account is like interacting and hearing different opinions and stuff um pretty awesome overall yeah, we appreciate you uh, coming on here for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Where right. do y'all? I'm gonna ask a question before you go to the next one. Go ahead, Where go do y'all get the information? I like, to ask just see it on like the internet and then post about it. Well, originally, we started out with Bleacher Report, and then yeah. a couple of years after Bleacher Report, we realized they're like 20 minutes late with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. Um, my co-owner Ryan actually has a couple insiders because he went to ESPN like a year or two ago on an internship. And um, we wow. actually worked with this company called Wave. I don't know. Do you guys know what Wave is? Never heard of it. Uh, Wave. Or anything like that. Um, you'll see like they have a good 
um, solid amount of um, accounts on Instagram. It's like a colon <laughs> on it, and that's like their logo. And they own a uh, Break Ankles Daily, Wave TV. Mm, okay. They have a lot of uh, big Instagram accounts. I say I follow Break Ankles, break ankles Daily. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's like a lot of accounts. We used to have like Team Wave accounts, but we were also we were given like opportunities through them. So. We've gotten lucky with a few internal details, but mostly it's Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Is I your, guess Twitter would be the most up-to-date and quickest. Yeah. yeah. Is your uh, favorite NBA team the Knicks still? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, his? His is um the Mavericks. But his is the Mavs, yours is the Knicks. Okay. Yeah, but his favorite player is uh, Giannis, and he got, he got really lucky because – he uh he got an autograph from Giannis in 2013 just before he was drafted. Holy, Holy crap! Man. That must be worth a shit ton of money. Yeah, it's uh what's it? He got it for like 200 bucks on eBay at the time. <sighs> and oh my gosh! I mean, oh he's, he he just won back to back MVPs. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Back. He might be the best player soon if he isn't already. Like he's 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 worth something. He's yeah. getting up oh, there. Yeah, he's, he's right. definitely right there. Yeah, you can make a lot of arguments for him. All right, we're going to talk about uh, just uh, – Give her a little NBA preview. Yeah. Give a little Ooh. 2021 NBA preview. Since it's it's approaching so fast, that's the weird thing about this year. Is that, the, what, the finals were like a couple months ago? Yes. Or what? Yeah, like if that. <laughs> yeah, and, and we just had the draft and free agencies almost really over. Yeah, I know who – I mean, Mark Gasol is left. That's basically it. Yeah. Um, go ahead, Zion. Sorry. Uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, draft this year? We can just go around. Uh, yeah, overall, with, okay. uh, the draft was um, it was interesting because this was the first virtual one, and yeah. there there was one thing funny that I noticed. There was it seemed like a lot of players didn't care about being drafted, but in reality, there was just like a delay in the audio or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a little awkward sometimes. <laughs> Specifically, the Lamelo one. It was hilarious because they said, like, "Oh, Lamelo got drafted." They go to him, and everyone just has like a blank stare. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, overall, yeah. It, I mean, it was pretty cool. I'm happy with who they got. I'm sure a lot of teams are happy with who they got. It wasn't as deep as previous classes, but like, still, there's a lot of promise. Yeah. So, I'm a I'm a Wizards fan, unfortunately. So I'm kind of in the same boat as you. As we're just shit. Um, <laughs> That's my. But, but I was really happy with um, who the Wizards took um, in both the first and second rounds. They got Denny of something. Yeah. He's he's from Israel. And then they got Cassius Winston in the second round, who I think is a uh, solid sleeper pick. But, I mean, I think I think the Hornets got really lucky getting LaMelo Ball at three. They're also oh, getting uh, Gordon Hayward, too. Yeah, the Hornets are are going to be fun to watch. The uh, one thing I'll say as a Knicks fan that was a little upsetting is I really wanted R.J. Hampton. I've been gassing him up since high school, and we had the chance to draft him. And don't get me wrong, trading the 27th and 36th pick for 25th and 33rd is obviously a win, but we still could have got R.J. Hampton, and we chose not to. So, yeah. like, I like the Knicks tough. pick, though. Obi Topin's good. Yeah. He's he's a beast. Yeah. He he actually lives, or not lives, but he grew up five minutes from me. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> what pick this did they like... have, or what pick did they pick him with? That was the eighth pick. Eighth pick, I guess. I thought. So kind of split. This was, was funny. my first time watching the draft. Yeah, in his interview, he was like, really? "Once I realized I could dunk, um, he was like, like, yeah, I'm never laying the ball up again.'" <laughs> I was like, "Damn, okay." Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. He he's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I have high hopes for him. Pat, Will, y'all got what do y'all think? What do y'all think the Warriors are gonna be like this year? You think they'll be good with their first year with this new squad? Uh, I mean, playoffs. You think so? Or no? Yeah. I, I didn't hear you. I just don't think I don't. I don't know if they, they won't make it past the second round. I don't think. But yeah, it'd be tough because they're kind of. It's a lot of younger guys. The West is just stacked always. Yeah. I mean, the West they, has got even more stacked this year. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so much money. Yeah. I thought Patrick Williams, how he was picked was kind of weird. Because when they were talking about him, he was, he's like the uh, second string four for the uh, for Florida State. And he averaged like nine points off the bench. Yeah, he was, he was six men of the year for the ACC. He should 
uh, they should have traded down and got – he was projected, like, what, 9 or 10 or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just it was just crazy he went 4. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of, the, part of the reason the Wizards got that Denny dude. He was supposed to go higher. Yeah, and that's why we got Obi because Isaac Okoro and Patrick Williams went 4 and 5. Yeah, exactly. Pat, did you watch the draft this year? No, I didn't watch it. You got any thoughts? I mean, shit. Based off of who you know went where. <laughs> Uh, where did Anthony Edwards go? He went to Minnesota first pick. I like, I like, I like, I like Anthony. He is like Angelo and, uh, that might be it. That might be a nice little team. But he could either be the next KD or the next Andrew Wiggins. So we got to watch out. (laughs) I I could see the Andrew Wiggins comparisons. Yeah. Even though he's still shorter. Andrew Wiggins is like. He's a, more of a forward. 6'8", yeah. right? Yeah. He's yeah. Bro, Andrew Wiggins was OD in high school, bro. He used to be he used to be a lockdown defender, and now he doesn't play any defense at all. Yeah, that Ho- is bad. Hopefully the Warriors br- revive his career. Same thing with Cat. Cat Cat was a really good defender in college, and then just stopped playing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just want to they- score. <laughs> yeah. Are we got any more – anything else on the draft? I think that basically covers it. Yeah. So, it's a free agency. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> uh, yeah, thoughts on the beginning of free agency. Sorry. Um, it wasn't. It definitely was not an impressive free agency class. Um, but hey, that's kind of good for the Knicks because we didn't strike out on anyone this year. <laughs> True. But no, o- overall, it was, it was, um, it was kind of fat. It was a lot more fast paced. I remember previous no, yeah. free- when it's that's like. Exactly our- what I was when it's like top tier free agents, they take a while to decide usually, right? Like a week or two. Mm-hmm. And then everyone's kind of gone in like two days. I feel like yeah, everybody's I like, known. Yeah. I feel like everybody's known where they're going. I saw like mm-hmm. every trade and like uh, signage happen yeah. within like two days. Yeah. It I mean, was like post after post after post. Well, I read something and it said 85% of rosters are filled or something already in the NBA. Like, they're, they're, there's not a lot of spots left. I think the Hawks and the Suns were, were the big winners of free agency. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Who did Rondo, the Hawks they, they got Rondo. They got Rondo. They got Gallinari. Um, oh, yeah. And then they drafted Onyeka, who is – it's kind of interesting. I wonder what they're going to do with Capella now. Yeah. Yeah. They're deep. I forgot he went they're, there. They're kind of deep. The Hawks are kind of deep. They're going to, so, I think, they'll be fifth seed or sixth seed this year. Yeah. I mean, the Suns could The Suns could really – like, the, the West is so stacked. Mm-hmm. The yeah, Suns got Jay Crowder, too. That's a huge signing. Yeah. yeah. Huge. Uh, we don't know what Jalen Smith is going to be. Obviously, that was kind of high for him, but he could be nice, too. Yeah, That's, for sure. Chris Paul is going to make DeAndre Aiden get a lot better, too. Yeah. yeah I, I think I thought Chris Paul was good at that when it comes to uh, going. Yeah, he's the perfect player. Uh, Teammate for D book teaches him how to win, how to play a little defense. Mm-hmm. And so Chris the... Paul, mm-hmm. Chris Paul, hopefully he can help out uh, Aiton do better too. <laughs> he Holy just crap. said that. He just said that. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was looking at the uh, at the draft, but um, the Pelicans got Stephen Adams, which is a yeah. yeah. I, did. I was surprised by that. That's a that's a good pickup. I wonder how it's... that front is going to work. Offense with Zion and Steven Adams. It's not really like too much floor spacing. Yeah, no, that is good. true. I just think it's interesting how many good teams there are this year. Like, I yeah. feel like there's potential. a lot of, there's a lot yeah. of potential good teams. Yeah. Could, I feel like it could be really competitive. Yeah, Our, I just think it's crazy how the Thunder they have first round picks. Like they have like three of them from the Clippers. They have like four <laughs> from the uh, Rockets, and then they have. One from the Suns. They have one from the Pelicans now. Like they, like I don't know how they managed to pull that off. Yeah, no, they. They've been moving insane. in silence. Dude's a genius. That dude's a genius. Moving in silence. Why do they feel the need to keep getting them? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's <laughs> like young basketball players. Yeah, they need to combine them for a star or something eventually. Mm-hmm. Eventually. Yeah. Um, uh, long shot questions on the NBA now. Uh, what do you? What do you have any predictions for the season? Um, I was thinking about the MVP race, and I think people are going to get tired. Like, MVP, voter fatigue for Giannis. I don't think he has a shot, even if he yeah. and gets 70 wins. We're well, not 70 because 72-game season. But, like, 
I just I don't think it's gonna be him. I think Luca kind of has the story going towards him. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, I could see that too. Yeah, right. It's like a story vote. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Especially since last year he, he was hitting those he hit that game winner. He, he was just really starting to like yeah, he was become like, a superstar. Really yeah. being pretty consistent through that I think, injury um, too. Jamal Murray could uh, also get his name in there. If you he plays so? like he did in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would think Jokic would be more likely, though. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Jokic is very consistent. Yeah. Um, I remember Jamal wasn't as consistent in the playoffs. Yeah, no, he had a few He had games. that. Against uh, – yeah, he, he started off rough against the Clip. Then he had a good yeah. couple. Yeah. I think but the – Go ahead. All right, word. I just remember seeing um, Jamal Murray, like, and Donovan Mitchell, too, but, like, I was just focused on Jamal Murray for some reason that every single time he had a hot streak, it just seemed like it never stopped. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. Like, that was the hottest I've ever seen, like, a play. Watching them go back back and forth was That game between crazy. them was insane. Yeah, yeah that I was. I remember watching that game. That was just, like, three after three. They come down and pull it from, like, we were watching it here. five feet behind the line. <laughs> Yeah, that was it was Here a fun. Me. It was a fun bubble. Yeah, it was. Seeing Tim Hardaway Jr. and Dion Waiters and Ryan. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember. I've seen that. <laughs> you got a, a uh, finals prediction for next year or not? Uh, Lakers going back there. There's no way they basically the way their uh, lineup, is, their roster is set right now is they have the Clippers roster, but instead of Paul George and Kawhi, it's LeBron and AD. Like, <laughs> Yeah, Dennis Schroeder's <laughs> pickups are insane. They're, they yeah. were insane. Yeah, like Dennis Schroeder is basically another Lou Will in the way he plays. Montrez Harrell, obviously, a player. Um, and then they've gotten some like they're going to get some depth if they get Mark Gasol too. That's dangerous. oh my gosh. They just yeah. kind of be, be hard to beat. What's yeah. what's going to happen with the uh, boogie? Is he still I mean, on the roster? I heard oh. he I heard he generated a lot of interest on the first night, but. I, heard him rumored for any other team so i'm thinking it might be bs i hope not yeah mm. he I'd deserves like to see him play again yeah, yeah. i want to see him play too he yeah, used he, to be one of my favorite centers yeah mm. he might be he might be the best center of the decade could be the way that he yeah. used to play before he was injured he was like crazy like he used to dominate yeah he, I remember was, he stretched eight. out the floor so much I thought that AD and DeMarcus Cousins were – not that they were going to be Tim Duncan or uh, or Robinson. I remember hearing those comparisons, but I think that they had a chance to be really like one of the best front courts. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. AD is – AD's AD is, nice. AD <laughs> is OD. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking AD was better. So who's your East, – East, who's coming out of the East? Uh, right now I'm going to say the Celtics. Okay. Um, and that Everyone pains me. Like that pains me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought the Raptors were going to make it there again last year, but they didn't have a superstar. I think Jason Tatum is going to be that superstar for the Celtics. And the one thing that – this is – like, it's weird that I think it think of it like this, but the one thing they were lacking was, like, a good rebounding, good defensive center. And not that Tristan Thompson is a prize, but he fits their system well. That's no, true. Sure. With tr- I forgot that he was there. That's a good – yeah, they just picked them up. They kind of rounded out their starting five for that. Yeah. I hope Will, 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 what would you say? Finals prediction? I'd probably agree with that, to be honest. Yeah. It's Celtics. too young, too fairly. Yes, yeah, Celtics probably. Pat? Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> Pat, I'd say Pat like – I'd say like Lakers and then Bucks. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the Mavs. I That's think a- I think Giannis, if he, I I don't know what they were missing this year. Well, Chris Middleton wasn't a good second option, so maybe Drew could be that guy. I I don't know. Uh, I just I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the Bucks <laughs> could definitely, if they rounded it up, they could definitely go far. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm gonna say. <laughs> I want to say a crazy, a crazy scenario. I, I think the Warriors. I think the Warriors are going back to the finals, and <laughs> I think they're going to play uh, the Sixers. Wow, <laughs> the Sixers, bro. The Sixers, uh, Curry versus Curry in the finals. That's the story. And Danny Green might get back in the finals. Exactly. 
And then he's going to get bullied and get death threats for missing threes. <laughs> Danny Green is to uh, Patrick McCall. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Patrick McCall was in the finals for like six or seven years straight. Yeah. That's true. I that think that the uh, Swaggy Nets is going to be in the finals. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about the Nets. The Nets are an interesting one. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. if KD comes back like any to similar to how he was. They have to figure out how to play basketball with only one basketball between those two. Those three superstars. Or, yeah, I guess three. This isn't even, like, me hating on the Nets or KD. <laughs> it's just that he tore his Achilles. And I understand that he's a good shooter. But a lot of his shooting he gets open with is through his athleticism. Mm-hmm. And a lot like his, like he he relies on ISO a lot more than we realize. Like he's not just a spot up shooter. That's true. And, um, Achilles injuries. I don't know how Dominique Wilkins was the exception because he solely played off athleticism. But like it got Kobe. I know Kobe was old. Um, it got a lot of players. And Job I hope yeah. KB that's can a play now. Yeah. I hope KD. Will, I hope he'll turn out okay. It'd be fun to watch him play good again. I'm excited to see Curry play again too. He could get yeah. like. 23 or 24 a game. Uh, yeah, he just had to elevate shooting over people. and Yeah. It'll be interesting. to the basket as much. Um, we got anything else? Uh, oh, I wanted to ask Gabe, what, what about uh, LeBron for MVP? Did you rule that out? or? Well, I wish he got it last year, and then I wish he also got it that year. <laughs> it's funny because James Harden does, like, was robbed of it three times. But the one year that he got it, I don't think he deserved it. Like that voting is all messed up on it. I don't think he's gonna get it this year because now people are gonna look at the Lakers team. It's like the same reason yeah. Curry or Katie didn't get it when they were together. Yeah, that's true. I see what you mean. And LeBron could be resting a lot because he only got what, like fifty off days. Yeah. Like and he's like thirty five now, so Yeah, he's getting old. <laughs> that is true. He's he's old, old man. He don't even he's just trying to get through the league. Oh I got a good I got a good question. Go ahead. What are your thoughts on the GOAT debate? Oh, God. The GOAT debate, I think it's kind of a pointless debate because no one's going to change their answer because everyone kind of has a base <laughs> for their debate. You know? Like, I think that LeBron's the GOAT because I've never seen MJ play, so I don't have anything to base it off of other than highlights and stats that I can't translate because the league was so different. Mm-hmm. And, um, obviously, you could say 6-0, and and that's awesome, but personally, like... This might be a hot take, but I'd rather be six and six in the finals than six and zero oh in the finals. Like, if he doesn't make it to the finals six times, then in my opinion, that's worse than being six and six in the finals. Or in LeBron's case, four and six. Not that getting there is enough, but you know, like it, it is better to get there than not to get there. That's true. No. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> we don't need to talk. We don't need that. No, we can stop that conversation right there. We can that was a good that. take. Was yeah, good no, take. that makes sense. Uh, I've never heard that answer to that. Patrick, not gonna forget that. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got people saying like, like I see some Warriors fans. Not that I'm trying to target here, but like, <laughs> yeah. like, like they'll say like, um, oh, like LeBron is like three and six now, four and six, um, but like Elgin Baylor was like what zero oh and seven, and no one thinks that he's any worse for it. They just think he's a great player. And LeBron, it's different because he's a threat to MJ for that title. So people are gonna try yeah. to min. If he was like a top ten player, but had no shot for being the goat, people wouldn't care about his four and six. That's true. Mm-hmm. Sure. I think I mean, yeah. I think if LeBron gets to six and six, I think it'll be over the debate. Oh yeah, I would. I would say. I, I think he. Then Giannis is gonna come up behind him. But yeah, I, I mean yeah. I mean, I mean there's, there's so much young talent in the NBA <laughs> now. Yeah. Yo, you never really know. And that could cause there to not be another goat goat because there's so much talent. That'll That's be true. Be There'll be too many story. arguments for who is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's going to be a lot of pissed off 40 year olds on Facebook. <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> us in 30 years or whatever. <laughs> 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 arguing about MJ and LeBron still. Yeah, word. All right. Well, uh, appreciate you coming on, Gabe. Yeah, thanks for um, coming, Gabe. Thank thanks you. for appreciate it. Shout out your Instagram and yeah, uh, yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, uh, NBA Rumors and News, and I also own a football account, FB Rumors and News. It only got like 600 followers, but keep it up because I don't want to keep promoting it on my Insta, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah all, that, all that'll all that be in the description and, and whatnot. Um, appreciate the support. Keep it up. Uh, we'll yeah, I'll give, give you guys a follow too, just like. All right. Oh, yeah. nice. All yeah. right. All right. Deuce. Deuces. Deuces. See you guys.